delicious sizzling in the background. Our food is already here. We are just diving straight in because you're on a time limit. So what was this cut again that we have here? This is a ribeye and a ribeye cut. Ribeye and ribeye cut. The top of the ribeye. Okay, so we have the ribeye coming right now and this is uh, A5 Miyazaki Wagyu, which is, uh, you know, the top of the food chain, top of the ladder of beef. Um, this will be my first time having A5 outside of Japan, so I am super pumped for this. I mean, take a look at that beef. Oh. And while that's cooking, I'll explain. So they have two different all-you-can-eat prices. They have one that's $99.99, and they have one that's $135.99. $135, yeah. $135, and uh, there's the difference between the two is you get more of the premium cuts in the 135. So like the sirloin, ribeye, ribeye, rib 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 cut. cut, you get those with the 135. And so if you're gonna spend this kind of money on this on uh, meat like this, you might as well just fall out and go for the most expensive. And that's what we did. And so you can actually see, if you wanna look at your tray here, Matt, there's uh, a couple of different toppings for rib the meat. Cut. Your bite cut. A couple of different uh, topics for me. So they have a house-made mustard, which is a new, a new sauce. It's a new sauce. Old style mustard. It's an old style mustard. mustard. Then they have a wasabi. Then Trouble they have salt, salt truffle salt, 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 and rose red, wine. Red wine. Sauce. Red wine sauce. Okay, so lots of different cuts or lots of different things to dip your meat into. And the first cut is ready. So you said this one you recommended it with? With a little wasabi or like a red wine, uh, like truffle salt. I'm gonna try the truffle salt first. Yeah. This meat looks so fabulous. All right, going in. Okay. That just melted in my mouth. Like, you have no idea. It's like, it is literally like beef butter. Just dissolving on your tongue as soon as you put it in there. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So amazing. This one's ready too, I think. So I'm gonna make bacon here. For the ribeye cut. We're gonna try this with a little bit of wasabi this time. Alright, going in. Mm. Mm. That is such a beautiful thing. They gave us a couple of side dishes as well. So here we have, this is a spicy, uh, what was it, spicy? A spicy salad of some sort. Give it a shot. Mm. That's really good. That's gonna come in handy to like, kind of reset the palate when you're consuming too much meat. You're gonna need to hit the reset button. And that's a really nice refreshing reset. They also have some house-made kimchi. Ooh, that is beautiful. Nice. Okay, now we have the tenderloin and the tenderloin wing, which look and sound amazing. So he said for this one, he recommends that you use the garlic salt. He recommends that you use the truffle salt or the red wine salt. So we're gonna try the red wine salt first. I think I like this cut better than the last. Let's try the tenderloin. Okay, here we go. Gonna dip this also in the red wine salt. This looks inside. Mm, I'm a happy man. Right, here we go. Ooh, that's hot. Oh. Ooh. with the towel. 
this is like the, the beef flavor is the most intense out of the tenderloin. The tenderloin wings a little bit more tender and it just like melts in your mouth more. This, uh, uh, I gotta have another piece. We're gonna try it in truffle salt this time. Truffle salt, here we come. All right. Mm. The truffle salt is very intense. You have the earthy truffley flavor that comes that just shines through. But I think I prefer the red wine salt. You know that's my favorite. I'm gonna go crazy. And I'm gonna try some of this mustard on it too. Don't tell the guy. Don't tell the server. Our little secret. Here we go. Oh, I love that mustard. Mm, 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 mm. Really, anything goes well with this, but my favorite is still the red wine salt, and I'm almost out. So I'm gonna have to get some more of this. This is this is like a dream come true. No, I'm not dreaming. It's real. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let cameraman Matt, AKA the titanium colon, I'm gonna let him beast for a little bit. We'll be right back. All right, next up we have the chuck cut, I think is what he said. I'm not really sure, or tail. Whatever it is, sounds amazing. He said he recommended the red wine or the truffle. We're gonna go with the red wine. The other cut is just like butter. Oh my goodness. Let's try the other cut. Look at that glistening beauty. Yeah. Dribble. Oh. We're gonna try the red, red wine again. I'm slaying. Best meal I've had in the city. It's so good. One thing to know, our server was just explaining to us that on different days, they feature different cuts. So they have the filet today, which uh, when they do the short ribs, they don't have the filet. So just know when you come, there may be a different selection of cuts of meat, but whatever it is, you're going to love it. 1000% guarantee. If you like beef, this is like, this should be your like, your mecca. This is where you come to have like, the most transcendent beef experience that you will ever have in this life or in the life beyond. This is gonna be it. This, there is no better beef experience than this. Uh, okay, I can see the titanium colon is drooling. So I'm gonna let him feast a little bit. We'll be right back. Okay, next up we have the chuck tail and the chuck tender. Right now I have the chuck tender and he recommended that you use either truffle salt or wine salt, or if you want to be a little creative, you do the truffle salt and some mustard. So we're gonna try the creative route, and we're gonna use a little bit of mustard and the truffle salt. All right, here we go. Ooh. So the server explained that the, the, the chuck is a little bit chewier of a texture, and it is, it's not quite as like, just melt in your mouth as the other ones are, but it has a nice, rich, beefy flavor. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more chew, this is probably gonna be the cut for you. Let's try out the tail, all right? And the tail, you said you can either do um, wine salt or wasabi. We're gonna try out the wine salt. See how this is? Boom, boom. Definitely recommend the chuck tail. That one's more melty, more more just melt in your mouth, like the A5 wagon experience that you expect and that you'll come to love. This is good, but I think, you know, when it comes time to re-up and get new new ones, I think I'll skip on this one. Unless unless Titanium Cone really likes it, then we'll get it for him. But definitely the tail is the better cut. Okay, next up we have the marinated meat. So they actually have marinated short rib. Not really sure why they don't have like the A5 short rib, but hey, it's all right. So they, the server was explaining with the marinade, they marinated it for 48 hours in soy sauce, sugar, scallions, 
and I'm sure there's some other secret sauce in there, but they marinated it for 48 hours. He said he recommends that we try it just as it is first, and then they also have like a galbi sauce, and we'll try it in that second. So, without any further ado, just as it is. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. Hot. Super tender, super juicy, super beefy, and it's so sweet. That marinade is beautiful. You can taste the sugar, you can taste the soy sauce, the hint of scallion. All right, now let's go into bite number two. We're gonna try it with the galbi sauce and see how that is. Here we go. The galbi sauce adds a little bit of extra sweetness, but by itself, it's just as amazing. So either way, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of just by itself, a little bit with the galbi sauce, and I'm gonna be in paradise. All right, titanium colon, now it's time for you to enjoy. We'll be right back. Well guys, as you can imagine, this place is my paradise, and it will be your paradise too. This place is gonna get a one million out of 10. I've never given this high of a score before, I'm like, you know, kind of like on a beef high right now, so I mean, you can't blame me, right? But this this place is amazing, so I'll leave the link down in the description below where you can find this place. It is mega popular, so you're gonna wanna make a reservation probably anywhere from like two, to two weeks to a month out. We waited about a month, so when you know you're gonna be coming, start checking to see what reservation times they have available. You do not wanna miss out on like the beef episode of your life. This is like the most amazing opportunity in the world. Do not miss it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Make sure that you do hit the subscribe and the bell notification so as soon as new videos come up, you're gonna be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Until next time, Take care of this.